Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus. And as usual, we are going to begin by reading a little bit. So let's check this one out. Uh, this was from the job we just did finding that container. So, okay, transport's there. Mark the right container. Revere Courier Services will be by tomorrow to pick it up. Day after tomorrow, it'll be across the border. All right, on my way. And we killed them all and we took their stuff. Because that's what we do in Night City. Murder and mayhem. All right, let's finish up these world uh, shards here. Yeah, we're getting close now. Here we go. Protein farms are currently the source of most meat and meat substitute products in Night City. Biotechnica is the clear industry leader, providing for over half the city's demand for alternative protein. Currently, the most popular, albeit cost-intensive, form of production is based on protein-rich crickets, which allow producers to achieve the highest quality protein. Earthworms are available as a cheaper alternative, achieving a higher yield of product per square meter. However, worms pose a more difficult marketing challenge. While crickets have become acceptable, most consumers still bristle at being told to go eat worms. Yeah, that's probably pretty unpopular, but... You know, I do feel like it's somewhat likely that a long time into the future, people will be eating a lot more bugs. Um, it is true that they are, like, pretty nutrient-rich and extremely abundant. Um, but that's enough about that. So, yokai, uh, Japanese demons of yesterday and today. They make their homes on mountaintops and rivers and oceans, on city streets, and on every mega building floor with the number four in it, even in your washing machine or info visor. Um, so number the number four is uh, an unlucky number in um, Japanese because it shares the uh, sound she, which uh, is for the number four, although a lot of people say yon instead. And then shinu, which is to die. So it's like an unlucky number because it's like the death number or something like that. Anyways, some appear in concrete places while others simply haunt a specific person. They're there when you hear a strange noise in the middle of the desert. They're there when you feel like someone's watching you, although there's not a soul in sight. They're there when you glimpse something out of the corner of your eye, something nobody else seems to notice, but you were just at the Ripper Docks for your checkup. The yokai first appear in Japanese literature in the year 797. These mysterious beings, though closely linked to the invisible realm of the dead, have been alive in the Japanese consciousness from the very birth of animism. It's not that the Japanese believe in the yokai, they simply know the yokai exist. That's an interesting way of putting that. In addition to phantoms, ogres, and other mysterious phenomena, the yokai also include a group of shape-shifting demons called obake or bakemono. The bakemono are said to sometimes take the form of a faceless person, a one-eyed scarecrow, or an animal. It's said that when a cat reaches a certain age, it becomes a bakeneko. That's <laughs> That makes sense to me. These yokai are able to walk on their two hind legs, speak, and dance, assume human form, or even devour their owners and take their place. Yep, that's something a cat would do. The Bakeneko sometimes visit people in their sleep or even wake the dead. All they have to do is hop over a corpse to bring it suddenly back to life. However, the demons are capable of much, much more. One should exercise extreme caution around a double-tailed cat. This is a Nekomata, a yokai with shamanic and necromantic capabilities, able to place curses on people and control the dead. In its human form, a Nekomata represents an, uh, resembles an old woman, often one addicted to some substance or other with an eerie, disturbing air about her. However, let me assure American readers of this book, today, the most likely place you'll find a Bakken Neko is in the form of lucky Maneki Neko figurines. After all, real cats are an even rarer sight these days than your average yokai. That is true. I did see one cat, though, and I got to pet it in the game, so. And I'm kind of feeling this, so why don't we just finish these up? Chemicals, the invisible killer. We've long known that AVs crisscrossing our skies are busy dumping harmful substances in the air, such as aluminum, carbon dioxide, sulfur trioxide, and sulfuric acid. Studies have also revealed the presence of dead red blood cells in E. coli, as well as sodium chloride, table salt. Now, you don't need a degree in science to know that the harm these substances can wreak on the body. We found that sulfur compounds can lead to cancer, heart disease, and other illnesses arriving from a weakened or even damaged immune system. They can also lead to spontaneous dental hydroplosion and acute meningitis. I don't know what spontaneous dental hydroplosion is, but it sounds awful. And blaming Bart Moss by Bugbear. When I imagine what the net was like before Bart Moss, I see thousands of potential threats and thousands of opportunities. Of course, the whole system was unstable, corporal runners pulling one way, post-war rogue AIs pulling the other, financial markets tanked, virus mutations spiraled in uncontrollable ways, and runners got cooked in their living rooms every now and then. Bart Moss saw the net as a grenade waiting for the pin to get pulled. 
And that's exactly what he did. Fuck it, right? Let the world burn. Bart Moss fucked the system, but fucked all of us right along with it. Just look at it now. Corps are on top as usual. The Black Wall, which was supposed to protect us after the Nets crash, is just another control tool in Netwatch's arsenal. Before Bart Moss, the Net was an untamed jungle. If you could navigate it, you had a chance to survive. You were free. After Bart Moss, the Net's like airport security check. Every step you take, Netwatch is checking your papers and performing a thorough cavity search. Oh, but all for your own good, of course. So yeah, I guess that's kind of what's going on with the Net right now. And we do have one more book to read, but I think that's enough. We're close enough for me. So let's go check out this unknown job. Or instance, or whatever it might be. And we are getting close to enough money to uh, buy a car so we can stop having to run through the streets. So it looks like I gotta go around the side. And this looks like a compound, so if I had to guess, this is gonna be combat. Hey, hey, quick gig. Maelstrom clept a Malorian van. They're holding it in one of their hideouts. Address I attached. Go there and nab the shard from that van. Other words, you're clepping from the cleppers. Need more info? Scan the attachment. Nope, I thought maybe I could get in here. Alright, let's check the attachment. Okay. So we gotta steal the databank with the transport route data. Uh, v, big news going around town. A Malorian van was stolen on Sir Francis Drake Avenue. Maelstrom claimed responsibility. It just so happens that one of my informants saw the whole thing, and he was smart enough to tail them using a drone. Hard part's over. We already know where they've stashed the van. I'd say we got lucky, but the truth is my people know how to get shit done. Okay, okay, I'll quit flattering myself. Go to the chop shop and find a databank in the van that has Malorian's transport route data. The gangsters have no idea it's worth more than all the cargo they're sitting on. All right. There's only one small problem, and that is that person guarding the entrance. So let's see if there's not another way in. Yeah, these roof textures are funny to me. Like, I'm not convinced this is on purpose. Okay, so let's see what we can see from this vantage point up here. Um, they're never going to find me up here, so why don't I just short-circuit them? Let's stop pretending you'll make it out of here, huh? And I'll hit him with a contagion, too. Yeah, it's about half health. Yep, short circuit again. And I think I can do it one more time. Up still needs a sec. You're here. I know you are. Revealing position. If I get far enough away... Can't hide. You know that. Yeah, I don't see any way of stopping it. But I think creeping around up here is going to be in my best interest for now. Alright, so what can I see through here? Let's go camera control. Everybody's alerted, but they don't know where I am. So there's those two.
Don't see anything up here. A couple more over here. I just want to tag him. Why can't I do that? Um, okay, whatever. That's so weird, though. Like... Yeah, whatever. Okay. So it looks like there's only four, which is not really that many. Yep, we'll turn that one off. And we'll just turn it off. Because even when they're on friendly mode, I, like, don't trust them. <laughs> and now I do have a sniper rifle. Come on out. We can be friends. Buckle up. Let's do this. Well, these are pretty sweet. Finish the cunt. Yeah, and I think I'll just hang out up here and snipe them. This playstyle really agrees with me. You want to come up on the roof with me? I better heal up. Just make sure I'm not getting shot to ribbons here. Alright, where are they? I see. Okay. There's kind of a lot. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, there's always just a lot more than you think there's gonna be. Come on, show yourself. Okay, that one's down. Two of them. Let's go ahead and drop this one. Hey, move Oh man. Ooh, is that an access point? I'll take it. Okay, this will be a nice little break from the combat. <laughs> so let's see, I have six. So I can start with five, five. And then I can go one C, which will complete the top one and start the second one. Okay, we'll start with that. 
five five one C uh, five five E nine. Oh boy, we really really failed at that one. Okay. Alright, I want to get my sniper rifle back out. Make sure it's loaded up. Let's see if I can get a look here. Yeah. I like that the sniper rifle is just seriously one shot, one kill. Let's drop in through here. Let's make sure there's nobody waiting to ambush me. Find the data bank. That looks like it. Another friend coming. Let's have us some fun. I want to have some fun. Awesome. And what do we got over here? And I'm starting to get a little bit antsy to return to the main story. And now we gotta go hit the drop point. And that's fine with me, because we just picked up a bunch of crap that we don't want. What are these guys doing? Ah! I don't know, but I felt like killing them. Don't see anything special there. But there's our uh, data bank. And what's up, Regina? Thanks for the shard. Sure, it'll come in handy. Get closed. And let's check out our loadout real quick. I feel like I want to try out this knife just because it's so much damage. And I wonder what it even looks like. So you gotta be like right on top of them. But we'll give it a try. I don't see why not. And what else? Yep, none of this is better. And I don't think I have another sniper rifle. I do, and it's actually better. Okay, cool. Can be charged to release a powerful shot. Uh, a lot of chemical damage. Yeah, it's just more damage. 
I'll take it. Man, look at that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. My character is so silly. Just so silly looking. All right. Any better gear? I doubt it. No, we guess we didn't actually even pick up that much stuff. Just a bunch of guns, as usual. Yeah, this is like 10 more armor, but no no slots. Become a walking staff infection. Yikes. All right, let's go ahead and sell off this crap. 700 bucks in junk, and then all this stuff. And at some point, we'll have to make our way back to the apartment to drop off Fenrir. Yeah, okay. This thing is so ridiculously damaging. I kind of want to try that out as well. Oh, this is actually slightly better than what I'm using. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put that on. Even though it's precisely the same thing, it is a couple more armor. It couldn't hurt. And then, I don't know, let's sell everything we have, like, one copy of. I wonder if these can be disassembled. I doubt it. And this allows you to breathe underwater. What would I ever need that for? I don't know. And I'm starting to have kind of a lot of these. Let's make sure that I've got all possible mods on my guns. Reduces reload time. That does seem sweet. And increases damage to limbs. That should definitely go on my... Uh, Machine gun. It's, I guess. It seems like there should be two slots. But maybe these are like the same type. Right, like I do that and it looks like it's selected. But it just swaps with the top thing. So, not clear. Um, but what we'll do is we'll increase the damage to limbs because I will sometimes hit their limbs, I guess. And then on the sniper rifle... See if I can't put anything on this. Nope. Okay, that works for me. I was gonna say I'd like to increase the damage on it just for fun, but it seems to do quite a good job of that already. And what else do we got? Thievery. Looks good to me. Let's go. But I think after completing a couple of, uh, a couple more of these side jobs, um, we're gonna go ahead and get our attention back on the main story. Probably once we buy that car, that's what we'll do. That was weird. House things. Still alive? Hope so, because I got a new gig for you. Awesome. You got a clever recording of a Maelstrom initiation. Want to know more? Check what I attached. Okay. So let's check this out. Um, got some paparazzo work for you. Need to get my hands on a recording of the Maelstrom initiation ceremony. 
Too long didn't read to get in the gang. You need to undergo an optic nerve split operation. A rite of passage of sorts. Footage of the whole thing, that's what I'm paying for. Got a tip that you can find just such a reel at the Heaven Med Clinic. It's the place they put all the new recruits under the knife for the first time. Op rooms are all fitted with cams, too. Could be a file, an entire disc, access to the servers. I don't care. What matters is that footage. Get it done. Okay. So let's take a look here. There are a lot of dudes outside. So we're just casually walking past. Nothing to see here. I want to try and see if there's not a way in around the back here somewhere. Because that front way in looks ridiculous. Um, it does not look like I can get up top. So let's see. Alright, that's convenient. So here we are. Is this an access point? It kind of looks like it. No, it's just nothing. Okay. So what do we got up here? I want to scan these guys and just, just beat cops. Okay. Yeah, I do like my uh, rooftop attacking these. But, unfortunately, it's not looking like there's much I can actually do up here. That looks like a sweet graphics card. <laughs> okay. Well, huh. If that's true, then I'm not really sure stealth is even an option here. Which is unusual. Alright. Ah, here we go. It's just... Can I just pop through here? There we go. Well, I'm lucky he didn't notice me. Okay. Cyber usage and its side effects. I do believe we've read that. Right, where am I now? Alright, let's go ahead and distract. What the fuck was that? Okay, I need I need to get this turned off. Damn it. Oh shit. Alright, gotta run for it. Kinda panicked a little bit there. 
But we're still alive for now. But I, I just got to get out of here. Yeah. Well, we, we got off to a good start. I'm a little hemmed in now. Great, now the police are after me. Yeah, this whole thing has just gone completely sideways. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run away. Um, and we will come back to that later. Once the police warrant calms down and we can kind of deal with it in the actual area. And I'm just going to check this out, because I'm just curious about what it might be. And it turns out to be nothing. Okay. Oh, man. That was going pretty well, and then I tried to turn off the camera, and then the lady turned around at the same time, and... It all fell apart. I am just really not a sneaky individual. And fighting seems like a worse and worse option the longer I go. You're here! I know you are! <sighs> so let's just snipe him from all the way over here. Because this seems to be the only way that I can take out, um, enemies, like, quickly. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, they just deal you so much damage. Oh, I'm just missing like crazy. There we go. Come out with your hands in the air. What? So that alerted the cops again, so we're going to have to run away soon. Yep. They teleported in behind me. Run for it. Well, this is not going well. Still on our way to that server room, though. But I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, chill here, and I'll cut to when the cops stop chasing me. Alright, cops are all done being mad at me for shooting them in the head. Turned that off, right? Okay. It looks like it's still on. That's so weird. Another combat turtleneck. Gotta love that. Caught in the maelstrom. Let's read this. 
I'm stood in the middle of Totentans, my knuckles white, tightly gripped an Achilles M179E rifle. It was shoved into my hands just seconds before the attack. My face, arms, and synth leather jacket soaked in the blood and brain matter of the psycho I had just shot. My contact, a 30-year-old male strummer with a green mohawk, patted me on the shoulder. Man, Phil, you ain't half shit, he tells me appreciatively. Took you for a pussy bitch, but you gotta admit you have some steel-clad balls after all. And don't worry about that sad scrap heap. If there ain't at least 20 bodies, you can't call it a maelstrom party. What had already been an unsettling experience took a turn to the whole other level. The other male strommers continued to mock me, but I could detect a tone of approval through all the vocal distortion. My Mohawk contact even proposed that they install me in one of their distinct rudimentary install in me one of their distinct rudimentary implants. Fortunately, they didn't have in their mind they didn't have in mind their iconic optics suite, so I accepted. My popularity continued to grow. No way you'd get the maelstrom mug so easy, he laughs. That text only for initiates. We pluck out their eyes and peel back the skin. No anesthetics. You survive, you're in. Yikes. With the atmosphere now more relaxed, I asked if the rumors had been true. Do they accept contract killings? My Mohawk source nodded with enthusiasm. Oh, fuck yeah. We make good scratch, and it's a great morale booster. You know, machines ain't bothered with a mess of feelings, and that's what we aim for. Doing hit jobs like that helps us gauge out all the gooey emotions we still got left. Recently, this one guy got all whiny and snot-nosed just because we roasted some kid. I told him, I said, Dude, you better relive some suppressor BD and fast, or boss man's gonna blow your head off. The gonk should have fucking listened. As I listened to his explanations and anecdotes, I realized that amusement clearly must not be one of their blacklisted emotions. And then I couldn't help but wonder, are machines capable of laughter? Yeah, these guys are just kind of the worst. So, I don't feel too bad about busting in their compound and killing them all. But I do have to play this pretty carefully. And it's all the way around over here. Had to run pretty far away because the cops got involved because it spilled out into the street due to me being terrible at stealth. How is he not dead? Let's give him a short circuit. That should kill him. Oh my god. Yeah, like you just, you can get hit like twice. It's nuts. You know, why don't the cops go after them? <laughs> like, there's this cop just in my way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this way. There we go. And maybe he just will leave me alone? Perp's fucking hiding. Don't look. Don't what? Don't <laughs> what is going on with this dude? Uh, by the way, I hate that knife. So we're putting the katana back. The range on that was terrible, and I hated it, so I'm never using it again. Maybe once I can throw them, I'll be interested in trying it again. And I think for while I'm in here, I want my assault rifle. Turn that off. Okay, there is something back there. Is he above me? Yep. 
Okay. Maybe this is it? Can finally get to this server room. Yeah, it looks like we're here. Just want to make sure I take all the crap. Steal the surgery recording. Let's go ahead and steal the data. Nope. It's never clear. Okay, it's got the little arrow for when you got to press and hold. So let's do this. All right, and we just got to escape. Early standing now. Data received. Now get out of there. I will try. I wonder what kind of fight we're going to have on our hands on the way out here. Make sure we're reloaded. extra quiet and maybe no one will notice us leaving <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay Looks like he's over this way. But why don't we just get out of here? See, like, I don't think they should be doing that. Because they look like they're not off. Can't resist taking some stuff on the way out of here. Turn you off, even though you can directly see me. All right, well, that was certainly weird, and this guy is like still looking for me. Got a puppier. Okay, <laughs> he finally found me. Good for him. Well, let's see what we can find while we're over here. I am kind of going the wrong way. Boy, there's a tarot card all the way out there, huh? Is this like a whole other section of the city? You know what? Why don't we head that way? Don't worry, officer. I'm just going to uh, deal with a reported crime while you're shooting at me. Oh, it's this way? Okay. Yep, I'm just going to run through the hail of bullets. Ow. And how are we on money? 43,000? Okay. So we can pick these up, um, and then we'll be able to buy a car. And then we'll head back to the main story, I think. But man, that job uh, was a real hassle for a number of reasons, the, not the least of which was that obviously it all went sideways when I failed at stealth, but like... Got the data. Thanks, V. Get closed. Yep, I'll take it. I have so much street cred for being a complete moron. <laughs> but um, what I was going to say is, like, not the least of which was that... Those cops were like... Trying to kill me. Oh, it's because I have my gun out. Um, 
you know, the cops were just, like, in between me and the job, and then the job spilled out on the streets, and then I kept getting overrun. And you have to play really defensively on hard because they deal you so much damage. So... I'll just try not to think about it anymore. We'll just keep on moving. Fortunately, there's... Wow, is this a nuclear power plant? That's pretty cool. What I was gonna say is, unfortunately, there's no cars out for here for me to steal. But, uh, that's okay. I wonder what we'll find by this nuclear power plant. Go ahead and make sure my sniper rifle's loaded up. Once again, I don't want to land in that water. So let's see what we got here. You know how kids are. He hasn't seen his pops in 20 years. Probably just wanted to impress you. Oh, he impressed me all right with his fucking stupidity. Now we'll have to find someone else for the job. All right, I just wanted to hear what they had to say. Blanked. Time to run for it. This should be kind of a safe-ish little corner. What? <laughs> now that's the kind of cover I can get behind, so to speak. Just a car popping up out of the ground out of nowhere. Alright, looks like it's just a couple. Oh, he ducked. Right, only two more. What's he doing? Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot shoot through walls. Let's find another spot. Yeah, I think I still want to snipe. Yeah, we'll just go with the body shot since her health was so damaged. And there's just one left. I think we can katana this. <laughs> All right, that works for me. And let's read the message. Look, I don't know when, which one of you gunks sunk these wheels, but I do know one thing. If the merch isn't here tomorrow morning, in full and bone dry, all of you shitheads are going to be shitting lead. Okay. So let's see what kind of treasure they got for me. Nope, can't pick that up. Okay. Okay. Yikes. All right, anything else around I can find? Man, these people have been doing some work.
All right, that looks like just about everything. Yep, just a bunch of crap. Ooh, that looks good. I can go for some Yakiniku right now. Okay. And then since we're up here, we can go... Did I not clear this? Get to the sunken van. Okay. Maybe the uh, breathing underwater will come in handy. Swim up with space. Down with C, okay. There we go. Now how do I get out of here? Ah, here we go. And let's read that message. Well, girl, you're gonna have to eat your words. I did it. Van runs like a dream. You just sit on the couch, press a button, and off she goes. Press another and she parks. Can do a whole job without leaving home. Just you wait. Soon enough, you'll be asking me to put one in your ride. Well, how did it end up at the bottom of a lake? Or whatever this is. Okay. Now that we've cleared that, kind of interested in going all the way out for this tarot card. But I think we'll leave that for the next episode. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.